rises to the top features Lee Anderson, single semi-finalist, and Lee Clough, the runner-up in the singles. Two tables in operation. This one and the one to the left of it, which you can't actually see on the stream. First to nine, unless it happens to go eight each, in which case there'll be a captain's pick and one deciding frame. Sat in a bit harder than he wanted to, I think, there to bring the position, the cue ball back across the table. He's got his two yellows at the left hand side. I think the one that uh, is easier to pot actually is not available to him now. Got Lee Anderson, Craig Lake in on the other table at the moment. ball but as again as he overshot position now I think he can see past the red played this rack, obviously he's run out of position a couple of times, not ideally, and uh, he's played this rack really well at the moment. Getting onto this yellow on the bottom rail is going to prove quite difficult from here, though, because he's finished the wrong side of this yellow to the right middle. Not 
easy to send it to the bulk cushion and back down either because he needs to track down the right hand side of the table so you'd have to play it with a lot of check side I think he's trying to leave himself a bit more of a more difficult pot but leave himself a chance look you can see the angle there Very good clearance. Gives 15 mile radius the start in this match. One up then. Very good team they put together. Actually, Jason Hill here now at the table was the Jack's opponent in the semi final last night. So, three of the four semi finalists coming from the 15 mile radius team. the adjacent table at the moment is Jack Whelan against uh, Lee Clough locking horns again after their epic singles final finished about 15 minutes ago but Jack on the finish to give Corn Exchange their first point on the board in this final takes out the finish so Corn Exchange closed the gap So Mr. Jason Hill brings uh, John Chambers to table, as I say, England A international, national black ball champion. Actually, won this title, won that title in Selsey back in March. English national champion at the moment. Fantastic performance in the final there. He won that 4-0 in something like 16 minutes or something stupid. It was.
the rules of this tournament state that you're allowed to have one professional player playing per team, which is Lee Clough playing for um, 15 mile radius. But the corner exchange side, not one professional player, interestingly. All very, very high caliber amateurs. Obviously, John and Jack play for the England A side at Black Ball, and Craig Lakin recently played for the under 23s. John Giles, their fourth team member. on the uh, double to the middle brings Jason back to the table Lee Clough against John Giles in the other match going on at the moment the other frame going on often a little bit disjointed these team matches because there's two tables running in mouth moment there is almost run over, over on position behind the yellow Hill puts the final black down, so 3 1 up now. So uh, Lee Clough then winning fourth frame for 15 mile riders. So uh, now three in front again. As I said earlier, first team to reach nine will be lifting this fantastic golden eight ball trophy. Made of real 24 karat gold, so I'm told. Worth more than the uh, 2,000 pound prize money, apparently.
played a thin cut like that last time he played in his last frame into the opposite corner pocket. That chap's named Gary. Surname unknown to me at the moment, I'm afraid. Well, she could be team sheets, actually. He's a solid player. So the 15 mile racing, obviously this thing being hosted in Blackpool. We've got two players from Blackpool itself and two from Preston just up the road. Fit the bill perfectly on those little super teams that can be created. Wow, in off there, tried to force it in the corner and it's Craig Lakin then to the table. John Chambers and Paul's on back for the corn exchange. 4-2 now, just over on the other table there. Gary just got, got one rail escape here onto this yellow. Well, I was trying to drop in behind it, but it's ended up being a foul. So two shots now then for the corn exchange and Craig Lake in here. As Jack and Jason Hill go onto the other table. that ball just want to move it make the run out that little bit better another one of those players that's come across from I think world rules to play Blackpool more recently as I say made the under 23 side at the recent European Championships I think he felt he got a bad contact there see past the black can he? And you can see from that angle he just about can play it with a little bit of swerve to screw it into the cushion for this red along the rail then still a tricky out from here because he's got to be a bit careful with the position on the black oh he had more of an angle than I thought he did absolutely perfect then 4-3 this take it uh, very very close indeed yeah good finish there from Craig
5-3, but you don't feel that uh, you know, 15 mile radius have, have already won this game. There's a definite quality amongst this uh, corner exchange side. in this room because they switched all the lights off in the room which are no longer required for the tournament. Obviously they'll try and break down as quickly as they can of course they will at the end of the tournament but uh, just giving it a little bit more of an atmosphere. It's only sort of 10 to 2 in the afternoon but it feels a lot later in here now because of the lighting. Rolls the red ball home got Lee Cluffy's playing again sometimes in these team matches. You can end up playing the same player all four times if the way it's drawn. I think the captains pick their, s their lineup for each set in advance, and obviously each captain doesn't see what the other captain's doing, so a good chance that you're going to, or potential chance you're going to see the same player playing the same opponent more than once. Jack just got to be very, very careful here with position to this last red as he got enough room behind the yellow there wow I think that's tight just nudges the black across black will drop follow it in corn exchange are back within one again with another great clearance from Jack Whelan Way in, so it's a re-rack. Chambers just about to level it up for the corner exchange on the black on the other table. Puts it down, no problem at all. And the break then for Lee Anderson here against John Giles. Black went in on the first attempt at the break. This time the cue ball almost getting kicked in, but dropped in behind the red ball.
It's currently 5-5. For some reason, we've lost the graphics off the screen. Just trying to fix that for you. Never had that happen before. Not sure why the uh, sc score went off the screen there, but I have managed to fix it. So it hasn't changed luckily in that time. Five each with uh, Lee Anderson on the finish here. It's a great positional shot to get onto this yellow. I think he's concerned that the cue ball's running away from the black. So whether he just rolls this in and leaves a longer black or tries to do something with getting the ball around the angles, he opts to just roll it in. It's a very good shot on the black as well. 6-5 up then. Craig to break for the corner exchange and Gary to break for the 15 mile radius side. Decent split on the balls, decent break is made. One red. One yellow. the red to move the red out and also develops the yellow on this side rail it really does one shot opens up the frame completely here wow couldn't get any closer without falling in
try to force that in. Have to a little bit lax position already. Right, Sable grabs it short. Lee Anderson then with a chance here to put 15 mile radius on the hill. One. Looks tricky. I'm not sure whether that red at the top of the table passes the yellow. I say it's tricky. If it passes the uh, yellow, then it could be relatively routine. It'd be the one on the bottom rail here, which causes him the most headache. didn't pass it cleanly so just ties up the yellow in the corner it's interesting the corner strain has not been in front in this match can't get the inkling there might be kind of tail to tell come the end of this match looking for a, cl a clean sweep of titles Jack Whelan Already won the men's singles, won the doubles with his, uh, the mixed doubles, sorry, with his partner Sam Hurst. He's had a go at that. Very aggressive shot and very unfortunate. He's got reasonably okay with where the cue ball is but you'd still fancy Lee to knock one of these balls into the middle oh, I was using the corner because it's quite a big pocket with those yellows hasn't potted them so he's covered the back now What an amazing shot again. He's got unlucky again, is he, with the black? I think he's landed on one of the other yellows. Now that was certainly a way to be aggressive there by Craig Lakin. Positive pool, as I say, none of that negative stuff. I said there could be a little story to tell about this game as Craig Lakin and John Giles on a finish for the corn exchange to try and level it up again. Lakin pulls his frame back to so 7-6 now. Lee Clifton against Tom Chambers and John Giles on the other table. Has taken out the clearance and has levelled the match up. John Chambers in. After yet another dry break from Lee Clough on this TV table, has an opportunity to put his side in front for the first time. two frames of regular action we will have a one frame decider at the end of this does it if should it sorry go 8-8 eight, eight. Jack Whelan to break as well over on the other side Thank you. 
finish from here where the, the black ball is positioned over this left hand side doesn't look at the moment as if it goes in any pocket he's on the choice of yellows here the one to the left middle or the one to the right middle I think the one to the right middle probably gives him better options because it leaves the ones down into the, the corner available to him the one he's played. Covers the bag. Cue ball tight to that yellow. Off, off camera here, you've got Jack and uh, John who are both currently playing at the moment. And a big discussion about, you know, come on, we've only got to win one and we're guaranteed at least the playoff. We've got a good chance then to win. There's a good pop there from Lee. He's got this problem ball over the right hand side. This road to the top right corner. I look from the other angle. Not convinced, I'm afraid. It's tight. I mean the opportunity of playing the one just to the right of the black and you can drop that into the middle but again you're almost then chasing the rack but at least if he takes that one he's got the insurance of the right one over the right hand corner pocket here Plate finals just ended. I think the team known as the Gays have won that final. This one getting a little bit tense at the moment.
Yellow in off the red here, perhaps. Yellow in off both reds. Good shot. Got a little bit unlucky with the cue. He could have done with the cue ball bouncing out further. Inch or so. Just to make position to the black just a little bit easier for him. Thin cut then. He's got it. Just needs this black to the corner then. Rolls that home nicely. And the corner exchange take their first lead in the match, I told you. Need a 3-1 or better. He said that Jack will play this uh, yellow that he's aiming at now down the rail in off the red to move the other one. Didn't quite get there though. Jason Hill back in the frame. This one's sweet. Uh, swung a fair few times this one. I've got to obviously have to adjust one of the cameras here. I can't do all three to turn them around to the second table. So Jason just covering your view at the moment, but he's played a very good safety shot. Keep him behind the red. I had to go at the second option there, but a good hit from where he was. Just a case of whether that's the problem here. I don't think Jason wants to move this yellow in the in the, in the corner pocket. He wants Jack to move it. I don't think either of Jason's reds surrounding that yellow were available for the skill shot either, or at least an easy one. Not really sure what. Rules Jason generally plays. He's got frustrated again because he knows he's left a gap. He's left an edge through to this yellow in the corner. Two good shots. And Jack Whelan could win another title this time for his team. Corner exchange from Derby. Black looks black look valuable to both middles and both corners actually. Once the yellow over the corner back here has been moved. Jason looking like he's now lost the match. He's looking very dejected. His body language is not looking great, but. 
He takes one miss. He's on the ball anyway. So this black ball, which you're probably not going to see because Jack's going to be obscuring the view for the win. Not even I can see it. He's put it down. And it's the corn exchange, which are the 2012 Golden 8-Ball team champions. A great performance from being 7-6 down. They've gone on to win the match. 7-5 down. They've won four frames in a row to win the match. Nine frames to seven.